With world oil prices on the rise, everyone's looking for ways to save pennies at the pump. How can you get better fuel economy? Gentlemen, start your engines. Yeah, the idea is that on a really hot day, it's more efficient to run with your air conditioning on full blast and your windows up than it is to drive with the windows down and the AC off. Well, that seems pretty logical. That seems right to me. I don't know about that. AC uses an awful lot of power. Oh, I think a car with the windows open is creating an awful lot of drag. That's what makes it a perfect test for Mythbusters. The Mythbusters are about to run two tests to find out once and for all. Auto computer gurus Bob and Jesse are helping out with the first test. This computer will measure fuel consumption by monitoring the rate of airflow through the SUV's engine. We've got a computer hooked up to the car. We're going to do 15 laps, five with the windows up, five with the windows down, and five with the windows up and the AC on full. And we're going to see if the computer shows us a significant difference in the mileage of the car under those conditions. After five laps with the windows up, the fuel consumption figures are in. Right now we're averaging 11.7 uh, miles to a gallon. Now it's time to roll the windows down. Roll the windows down. Looks like we're averaging about 11.4 to 11.3 with all the windows down in the vehicle. Heat, windows up and AC on. This is the last five laps. We're averaging 11.7. <laughs> All right, so what was the difference in actual miles per gallon? Uh, with the windows up and the AC on, uh, it was right around 11.7 and 11.8. Uh, with the AC on and off, it didn't make a difference that much. All right. Uh, with the windows down, it was 11.3, and that's where it's making a difference at with the drag of the wind. Wow, okay, that seems pretty significant over a full tank of gas. Oh, yeah, big time. So clearly, it's more efficient to drive with the windows up and the air conditioning on than to drive with the windows down. Yeah. Definitely. That's what the computer said. So that's that all figured out. Not quite. There's still a question mark. See, those figures are based on a computer model. That model assumes ideal conditions. Adam and Jamie like to test things out for themselves. That's why they're doing the average Joe test. Two identical SUVs, two full tanks, and two identical payloads. Everybody in Adam's car, let's get weighed in. Come on. One SUV has the AC on, and the other has the window down. The logic is simple. The vehicle that uses the most gas will stop first. The computer test showed that blasting the AC was more fuel efficient than driving with the windows down. But what's this? Jamie's AC-cooled SUV is slowing down. Yeah, I'm coasting now. Jamie's car just crapped out, and mine's still going strong. At 45 miles per hour, looks like it's more fuel efficient to drive with your windows down than with your AC on. That totally confounded my expectations. There's no other way of interpreting it. We've gone over all of the, the facts of what went on here. I ran out first by running the AC. Yeah, 15 miles ago, that's 30 laps that I did that you didn't do. I mean, I'm just like... <sighs> Windows versus AC, what's the verdict? Well, the computer showed that it was actually better to run with the AC on. Not by much, but it was better. I've got a little bit of a problem with that, which is the computer's actually measuring the airflow into the engine, not the fuel consumption of the engine. And it's basing its assessment on a computerized model under ideal circumstances. Yeah, our average Joe test was pretty straightforward and kind of foolproof. You know, we put so much gas in, we ran for so long. And it pretty definitively showed by almost 15% that running with the windows down was a lot more fuel efficient. Yeah, that's a pretty significant difference. So AC being more fuel efficient, I'd say bust it. Bust it. Yeah.